Hey guys, just wanted to share a scripture with you and just kind of a little bit of brief just overlay of kind of stuff that's going on. Um, anyhow, here's the scripture um, that the Lord gave me earlier this morning in prayer. One of them, there was several of them, but it's 2 Peter 1 and 16. The trustworthy prophetic word. For we did not follow cunningly deceit, devised fables when we made known to you the power of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received from God the Father honor and glory, for such a voice came to him from excellent glory. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And when we heard his voice, which came from heaven, when we were with him on a holy mountain. That's in Matthew 17, 2, in the Transfiguration. And so we, it's also in Matthew um, 3, 16, in the, about his baptism. It's my son, whom I'm well pleased. And so we have the prophetic word confirmed. This is 19, which you do well to heed as a light that shines in the dark places until the day's dawnings and the morning star rises in your hearts. Know this first, that no prophet, prophecy or scripture is of any private interpretation, for the prophecy never came by the will of man, but by the holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Kind of ending with, he that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. But it's no private interpretation, guys. So, mine comes in visions and dreams. It was visions for a long time, and then now it changed to dreams. Um, I don't know how yours comes. Many of y'all, it may come the same way. Mine comes early in the morning in scriptures. <laughs> I'll just pray, Lord, what do you, you know, what's today? And just be praying and... <laughs> He'll give me scriptures pretty much every day, guys. A bunch of them. Maybe even half, seems like half the Bible rewritten. Not rewritten, but put down. So anyhow, um, but it's of no private interpretation, guys. Larry the Cable Guy, the simplicity of it for me. It's like so many people, especially in the ministry, it's like I got this, you know the recipe to KFC. I got a secret sauce, something nobody else knows. Part of that culture, because culture's a good word for this because it's not really, God's not a culture, is better than. I'm way up here and I know something that you don't. Guys, it's like thinking we got the secret sauce, you know, and it's no private interpretation. The revelation is for all, for God so loved the world, all the world, guys. Where are you reading your Bible? Well, who's your source? It should be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. If you're getting it from somewhere else, I'm just the directional guy, guys. Okay, if you're getting if you're getting some revelatory knowledge, which people are. Men and women of God. I'm not discounting that at all. I know it's to be. I know it's true. But it's to share. Not to not to hide, harbor, gloat, keep for yourself, so that you can put it in a box, maybe even misuse it for money, power, ego, status. Whatever, pick one of the selfish ambitions. It's in, it's in James 3.17. is awesome for the wisdom room above, but 3, 1 through 16 is all about foolish ambitions and self-centered, egotistical, grandiose stuff that the church has become in the world. That's why, it's, that's why I put that scripture out that the Lord gave me a while back. And today's kind of good good for it, you know. Tons of sacred cows out there, guys. Actually, they're idols. Honestly, the truth of it is. 
and we're full of it. This country's full of it. You know, money being a big one, egotistical garbage, and building b bigger, bigger, better, grandiose stuff. <clears throat> we want to create God instead of instead of letting be the creation that God created us to be. To make them fit in our box, our little forty-five minute window of space and pick a day you know even the day we pick sunday or whatever some people say saturday some people say sunday every day is god's day guys but there's not all this <clears throat> divine this this personal interpretation you know scripture that the Lord gave me three about three weeks ago about today because I noticed that a lot of stuff going on against the body and it was all in the natural and then against the country in the natural and look at look at today but it was Jeremiah or not Jeremiah Isaiah 27 that twisted Leviathan spirit but he's mad preachers Sides. Why should there be a side, guys? Jesus needs to be at the center of every decision that we make. The Holy Spirit leading and guiding and directing us to all truths. Not all this other nonsense. I mean, one of the sacred cows, I put that out today on Facebook. I'm going to put it out on Instagram too, but probably too. One of the sacred cows, politics and the, and the holidays. And there's more to come. Uh, Halloween being one of them. It's like, of all days that they picked to do the impeachment vote. But it's not a private interpretation, guys. It's time to share the gospel. The gospel's pretty simple. Read 1 Corinthians 1.18, where the, where the preaching of the cross is foolishness to those that perish, but salvation to those that are saved. <clears throat> Power of the cross, God, then it goes on talking about the foolishness, take the foolishness, get on the wise, and, you know, we want to live in all this head knowledge and all this stuff. And our, our, our brilliance, because we've created cell phones and computers and just all this knowledge and things that are just blowing up. Man, guys, simplicity of the gospel. Look at the thief on the cross. What did he do right, guys? Wasn't even a very smart crook. He got caught. Didn't have, he was dying. He had no chance to go back and change and repent and formulas and or do anything. Dying. Where'd he end up? Did everything wrong, guys. So don't let the enemy trick you into thinking that your life is just because of all the, the garbage that you got in it. You can't come boldly before the throne of grace and glory. Get the prodigal son, guys. But this is the part I want to put in there. That father, the father, when he gave him that robe, said he was a far off journey. He was eating pig food, guys, living in a pig pen. Probably didn't bathe. Probably walked for days, you know, a long time. It was a sort of a long journey, far off journey. Probably still had pig food in his teeth. Probably couldn't brush his teeth. But the father still put the robe on him. Didn't tell him to go clean up, go to drug rehab, do this, do that. Didn't give him a laundry list of things to do. Put the robe on him. Read Revelation, robe of righteousness, covered and washed under the blood of the lamb. A white robe for us. Why? Because God doesn't want to see our sins, guys. It's still some of us sometimes still there, but Jesus wants to give us that robe of righteousness. 
even in our mess. That brokenness. So anyhow, um, there's a lot of different messages I got out there, guys, and it's not me. I'm just a directional guy. I'm not, I'm not nothing, really, but his vessel. Well, I am something. I'm a child of the king, but <clears throat> I'm just a directional vessel. That's all I am, guys. And my direction is go to Jesus. Take it to God. Take it to the Holy Spirit. Take it to his word. Filter it through all that. Not through a bunch of man-made doctrine and religion and just stuff and things and opinions and internet's full of garbage and so is the world. Vain, repetitious stuff. Second Timothy, delusional, delusional spirit. Divisive. We know the truth. Guys, it's right there. If you're getting some revelation, if you're getting something from God, from the Holy Ghost, many of y'all are, you could be, this is, it's you to share it, to bring it out, to help set people free. But this is the scripture that goes with that, guys. Matthew 20, read it, read it deep. I mean, you don't even have to read it deep. You could be the doorkeeper or a senior pastor that saved 150 years, that saved 150 years, which is impossible, but you get the point. And have a million people in your church, same. Jesus paid them the same, promised them the same, paid them the same to harvest the field. No different. God's sight, Jesus' sight, the Holy Ghost sight. I've heard some really, really deep, revelatory, profound things from homeless people and the polished people. So we want to put all the emphasis on the polished people because of the money thing. Really, honestly, that's just one of the idols that we put. It is an idol, guys. Idolized stuff. We idolize church, we idolize buildings, we idolize ministries, we idolize people, we idolize politics, holidays, all kinds of junk, guys. So that the word can get twisted up. So that when there is revelation and when there is some prophecy and when there is some deep things of God, where they come from a donkey Or a prophet. Man, guys. It's time to just fulfill our purpose. What's your purpose? Why do you think it says, They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The spirit blows and lists. No man knows where you don't know where it comes from and you don't know where it goes. So is the spirit, the wind. Why was it a wind that brought forth the fire on the day of Pentecost? I mean, there's a lot to this, guys. That's that's deep. So if you're getting these deep things, share them with your brothers and sisters and be glad when your brothers and sisters excel in the word and in, the, in, 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 in deeds that are from the Holy Ghost, not in deeds of building something. God's got, God, God created us in his image. We're his house, guys. I need a bunch of houses. It's like when I drive downtown, I live in Dallas. When I drive downtown, I see they're building apartments, buildings, complexes, things, the stuff's going up all over the place. I'm sure it's in other cities too that are kind of exploding. It's like, man, guys, and there's a bunch of empty buildings too. God doesn't need us to create something. Because all it is is about, it is about self. Self-will, self-indulgence, self, because self you can, because you got a pile of money or whatever. Self, self, self. It's just self-gratifying. 
God of self, another idol. We're his house, guys. So we want to love and worship God? Well, then love your brother and your sister that God's using. And rejoice when you see him. Be glad. When they get revelatory things. Instead, everybody's, you know, this name dropping, name calling. Everybody wants to be something that they're not. Of course, everybody wants to be an apostle, a prophet. They want to be the top dog in the outfit. They want to be the apostles so that nobody can tell them what to do, including God. When I look at the job description, I don't want it. Take up your cross and follow me. When you're in that kind of a, of a realm with God, your cross is a little pretty, pretty, pretty heavy, guys. Burden. Even though it says my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Why would you want that? A lot of it's just for want people to look up to us. As something we're not. It's not private interpretation. It's not secret revelation just for you. It's for the world, guys. So if you're getting something, get it out there. It's not going to always, you know, we're too used to this old religiosity, this grind of stuff. God in a box, you know, I call it the Hollywood Christianity, Captain Crunch Christianity, God in a box, convenience, you know, 45 million, I said 45 minutes, you know, drive through, like a drive through McDonald's, just, you know, I did my part, sang a song, did, you know, I hope this doesn't embarrass the guy, and I'm not going to say who, but he went to a church. And he just took his shoes off, guys, because he thought because it was holy ground to him. And they escorted him out. It's like, man, guys, we get all kinds of nonsense. Instead of portraying the love of Christ, who Jesus is, who he wants us to be. We get sucked up in, you know, all this stuff. And then when the revelation does come, we want to discount it. Because it doesn't fit us. It doesn't fit our little world that we created. Like I said, we're trying to create. God already created. He created us in his image. Guys, he doesn't need us to be God. He called us to be sons of God. Full of his son. And what did his son do? Thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Man, run, fly, leap with that scripture. Read the rest of it. Took on the form of a bond servant, even under the obedience of death. The cross. <clears throat> Hanging on the cross, he wasn't, you know, do you know who I am? No, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Guys, it's simplistic. The gospel simplistic. The blood of the lamb were washed, cleansed by the blood of the lamb. That's what the scripture is talking about that I just read. So if we're getting things, and it, it's... To get it out there, to help others, to set captives free. Not just to give them a key to set them free, but to give them the papers to set them free. Because God doesn't need a bunch of jailhouse salvations. You, you get cry out to God in your time of need. You're about to die or you're in some kind of trouble or sin. all the time guys
wherever you're walking with him. So anyhow, if you're getting some revelation, share it with me. You know, um, I'm kind of trying to, all this stuff is kind of, you know, I'm challenged a little bit, guys, with all this technology. And I know you want to do all this. But anyhow, so email me at Jesus is alive in America at gmail.com because I want to connect with you guys. Um, I posted a few, picked up a few friends on Facebook and my wife told me not to do so many of them and I did a couple of them and it just blew up, guys. Eight, nine hundred and I got 800 friend requests and to the people on Facebook, I apologize. I can't even answer everybody. Um, it's just, it's too much. So really, but there's some really good ministries out there. I picked up one. I'm just going to say it. It's called On Your on Our Knees. It's a good one. There's a bunch of other ones there. I just haven't been able to get to it because it kind of just exploded on me. And I just don't have the technological savvy to, 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 to get to all this. So I need the connectivity with you guys. And or, you know, just email me. We'll talk about it. Let's connect. Talk about things in the spirit. Because I believe in the strategic, maybe even specific people. So if you're hearing this and you want to be connected, email me. Or just Google Jesus is Alive in America. You can reach us on the various different, you know, I don't even like the word platforms, but different whatever avenues, channels. Um, love you guys. If you're getting something from God, share it with all brothers and sisters love 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 the body that much it's like jesus loved us loves us god loves us even if it's correctional and directional and instructional does it might you know it might not be that warm fuzzy feeling message share guys so there's no secret private interpretations of the Word of God. Of what God's telling you, the Holy Ghost is telling you. That's why it says, He that has an ear to hear, let him know what the Spirit is saying to the church. But anyhow, love you guys. Uh, talk to you soon.